I know you guys, I will promise you a skid or swerve review. But, I just want to get him out of the way, god damn it. He's just like one of my favourite video, my favourite um, Transformers. Oh, this is my um, Transformers Generation 1 teacher that I got at Universal Studios. Florida. If you're ever there and you're a trans fan, pick one up. Anyway, Animated Grimlock. That's the video review for today. Um, in the show, sticking with the G Generation 1 Grimlock, he is still really G1-esque in the, t t in the series. He... He really has a G1 feel to his character, and and he really does feel like a really nice character to to actually have. Other sense, instead of him want to be the leader of all Autobots, he just doesn't really care as much as as he's a bloody Dinobot. Still the smartest one out of all the Dinobots, and he does, and he was also the first one we see to transform in the series. So yeah. Anyway, back to the figure. He's somewhat of grey. He's got grey plastic, some gold paint there, some gold around the neck, and some gold around here, there. With some with a nice red stripe on both that follows on on both sides, with some gold accents there and some a red little thing on for detail. It's got some more of that red on the feet here with some more gold that you can see that's really nice, adding more of the detail. And then you got this like dull gold plastic on the tail and on the toes. It's got the nice black and it's got the nice black tail with some more little red parts there. And he has got a nice little head scope of a, of his T-Rex mode with nice little light piping. Gimmick in this mode, this little button here, if you can see it, by pressing it, you can push it down. So when you press it, you can go, me Grimlock King, me Grimlock Superior to, you, to Autobot Leader, me Grimlock King. Yeah. <laughs> Some sort of like that. In the show, he was voiced by David Kay. It's a shame they didn't get um, Greg Berg or what what his name was, who done the G one G one voice, because it would have been really really nice. But David Kay done a great Grimlock, no doubt about it. Articulation: he's got full three sixty legs, can bend there, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, rotate, bends at the little toes. And the little heel. And that's about it. Oh, and if you want, they can fold in. But that's for transformation purposes only. So let's get down to the transformation. To start the transformation. What what I like. What you, what you want to do is split the tail in half. From, from here. Just split the tail in directly in half. So you get that sort of effect. So when that comes, you can... Peg them to the sides. There's these little holes, and there's a tab on the side tip. And you want to just peg them so it forms something like that. Then you want to grab this whole top assembly here, bring that up, and fold it down. Then I want you to um, fold this down and peg them into place like so. So when you're doing that you want to then straighten out the legs so they're so they're um nicely apart. So when you've done that you want to then bring the arms together, what form from the legs and just rotate the little feet and just form them up like that. And then you will get this sort of thing where it has a big G T Rex head and a hollow bit. What you want to do there is you want to fold these up both sides then you want to bring it back when you do that you want to then push this little golden bit up so it forms there and then what that does there's this little black tab there there's a little hole 
that hopefully you can see it because it's black and my camera might not be able to yeah right there you want to then just pick it up rotate it around and fold it back on on itself so then you got got his head like so and there you have Grimlock in his robot mode let's get back to the video to his let's talk about the robot mode well the robot mode well it's really G1-esque I think the transformation is G1 accurate and it's really G1-esque you've got the traditional section here that the G1 has it's a bit bulkier than the G1 and he has the giant jaw but I realised if you done a custom to make him look like a G1 character and remove that bl black jaw, he would still have he would still be have a G1 head underneath behind it anyway. So yeah, he has still got the same colour scheme, but with some a with some added gold here and some little electronic effects and an Autobot logo. Oh, he did have one in ro in, de in decent mode. He's still got those gold parts here, what what were part of his back, but now on his feet. And that red circle has now formed here for the back for some heels. And everything just folding nicely away. Hardly any killable, just a little backpack, but not a big giant backpack as the universe universe um cheetor. Articulation wise is full three sixty arms, bends at the elbow, at two points at the and the upper arm, rotates at the wrist. Legs can go forwards, back, out, in, bend at the elbow, rotate at the knee, and he can do that weird side kick, like that. He does come with accessories, he does come with his fl flame sword, flamethrower sword. And let, So let's get into some of the detail on here. His flame sword is really nice, really, really nice. You've got some of the br brownish, like ash type effects there, the, the translucent orange. That's really nice. You've got the um, gold here. That's really nice with the black handle and some more translucent orange. He ha this has got a gimmick. All you need to do, there's this little button inside it. I don't know if you, it can get picked up because it's translucent. There's a little button inside it because the button's also translucent. And there's a tab in the arm there. You want to put plug it into this arm because that means that that indicates it where it goes, and you want to plug it in. And when you do that, you want to then just close it up and it up. Let me show you again by just rotating his wrist. He gets extra flame, so he is manned up and everything. Oh, I did forget one articulation. He has got waist. And he can go left and right. So he has got quite a variety of movement as well. But all in all, a really nice figure. And I hope and I'm hoping that you enjoy this video review. Uh, my rise and falls might stop them and just give them an all-out rating at the end of these videos. Because I'm going to be ending up using my YouTube upload on my Dell webcam. So do I recommend them? Well, yeah, why not? He has got the tra he is a di traditional anime Grimlock. If if you if you can't afford a G1 Grimlock or the Energon Grimlock or the Classics Grimlock, then this is a nice take. Definitely for the G1 look. This is a nice amputation of a Grimlock, a nice all in all in general. So yeah, so see you next time on a Transformers or figure review. <laughs> Bye.